hi guys how do you do welcome to Asian program with today guys we are back to c sharp again it's been quite a long uh, time uh, since we did c sharp we've mainly done xamarin as well as of course android but then yeah we are here back again of course with c sharp today we're going to continue with the grid view series of tutorials what we're going to see is very simple how to load images and text into a grid view this is what i'm talking about i click my add button we're loading uh, these particular images right here of course into our grid view okay you can see the text of course the images you are loading them from our machine this is what we're going to see loading images and then of course our text into our grid view. guys welcome we get started now the first thing go ahead and then create your project um of course i'm using visual studio 2013 over it here create your project inside visual studio your c sharp project then come to our tools over right here add a data grid view this is a data grid view and a button okay so that's it these are the two components that should require you guys to go ahead and then add of course once you've added them yeah that's it that's it just add them then of course click your add button it's going to take us to our code so we come over right here so if our add button is clicked what shall we want to do well we shall want to fill our dg view okay our data grid view so for that one we're going to create a simple method it's going to be private this method is going to return uh, nothing we're going to have it as fill dg view yeah that's it so for us this is a simple method what are you going to do right here well first we need to establish our columns the our data grid view columns to define it well we're going to have two columns right here these two columns these are text columns name and then the propellant okay and then of course right here we shall want all our columns to be able to fill our data grid view so there's a reason we're setting data grid view auto size columns mode uh, to fill now apart from that one we're going to need another column right here an image view an image column so data grid view image column uh, i'm calling it img call equal to new we just insert it then of course we set our header text we are going to call it our header text we're going to set it as image then we make sure that we add this particular image column of course to our columns collection by calling the add method over here so of course once we've done that one we're going to have some images yeah right here these are going to be our images you can see over right here these are some of these images these are what shall be loading of course into our application so this is it take note i'm having them inside my local disk d in a directory i'm calling images and also inside a folder right here small that i'm calling small so guys that's it these are the things that we're going to do now to load our images over here is simple we come simply come first of course we get our image object i'm calling it img then image dot from file then of course we simply pass the path of that particular file so we pass the path this is going to give us our image this is going to load us as our image and then we're going to have it right here in our image object okay so we after that one we're going to create right here an object array then we come first we pass in our name and then also our propellant and also the image why are we using an obj uh, object array right here it's very simple this one we're using an object array is because we are passing different data types take note we are passing these columns right here these are text columns as well as our image okay then of course at the end of the day we just come and then make sure that we add that particular spacecraft object for data grid view collection we come do it to the second one add it okay and also add do it to the third one add it that way guys that's it that's how we're going to be add working with images and text of course to implement it we simply come right here call our fill dg view over here then guys let's run our project have a look so right here we are having our stuff we come click you can see all our data of course gets added with our images okay this is it guys i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed the tutorial please if you have hit the like button share it with friends and family stay tuned for more c sharp uh, tutorials okay otherwise take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial